Okay, hello YouTube. I purchased this Adam Audio T10S subwoofer a couple of weeks ago and uh, it has a weird feature in its standby power. Uh, to wake it up you need quite, quite a strong of signal and to keep it on the string, signal strength has to be quite high as well. At this moment I have this paired with my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface and I have, I have been connecting it with my Genelec G3 speakers which I have here. And uh, how it works, it gets, gets the signal from my Focusrite uh, audio card and it starts up the subwoofer and after that the audio signal goes through to my Genelec speakers. The problem was the signal strength has, has to be quite high. So uh, I have to listen to music on quite high volume to keep it on. Otherwise it would automatically turn off. And this was driving me insane. Uh, I could listen music for 10 minutes and uh, it would automatically turn off. Uh, fortunately, I found a little solution for this. Uh, I purchased this Behringen, Behringer Monitor 1, which, which is a passive audio, uh, passive volume controller. So from my subwoofer, I have output to this passive volume controller. I have set it around 50% and the cables from this volume controller goes to my channel X. That way I can input some higher signal for the subwoofer so it keeps on and I can limit the volume that goes to my channel X. So I just wanted to share this tip or trick to fool the subwoofer with a higher signal and otherwise limiting the audio signal with uh, like a passive volume controller. I found out there was several, several different kind of options for these and this was around 40 euros, but uh, you'll probably find find a similar one from Amazon or perhaps from your local dealer. So this is one great solution. I hope it will help you if you experience the same problem.